All right, now here we go. So for this uh, session, I was happy to be back because uh, I haven't been I hadn't been practicing Muay Thai for a couple of weeks uh, because I had a cold. I didn't feel very good, so I was happy to go back to training. The idea for this session was uh, a bit different from um, usual because I always go into my sessions thinking, okay, I've been working on such or such technique, I'm going to try to pull it off. I always have something at the back of my mind, like some techniques that I want to pull off. But for that day, I was like, I'm not going to try anything. I'm just going to be a bit harder, a bit tougher than usual. And, and that was it. Uh, because in fact, in my system, I have three poles. So one is about being... Uh, technical and an emotion of joy and happiness and another one is about determination and being hard and tough and and determined so I thought so far I've always been in the first pole which was uh, the Sun Wukong pole which is about being uh, technical and joyful and I thought I'm going to go a little bit more in the in the second pole which is to be determined and hard you know the berserker and uh, so that was the idea and you can't really tell <laughs> that's funny what was really funny was that after i spoke with one of my uh, fellow muay thai practitioners he told me oh it's funny today you you, you felt more relaxed more at ease uh, so okay that was a bit paradoxical <laughs> i've realized that i feel more confident in my boxing when i have more trust in my partner because what happens is that Someone who who's going who's gonna to punish you for your mistakes really hard is going to make you more hesitant. Uh, you can't really express yourself because you're always worried you might get hit really bad, you get, might get countered. But when you trust your partner, now you know they can hit you a bit hard, but when it's okay to do it, uh, then you can express yourself a bit better. So anyway, this is uh, stuff from Jeff Chan. That's stuff I got from Jeff Chan's training program, the heavy, heavy back workout. Uh, I have not been very consistent with this program. I have only done, I have not completed it, and I have done all the exercises, all the sessions only once. But already some of the stuff that I've been doing, I I could pull off. Sidekick. So uh, I said it before, but I've found success consi consistently with the sidekick. So here I wasn't really trying to do anything in particular. I was just trying to poke and also be a little bit more uh, thrifty with my moves. That was a nice combination. Changing guard, changing stances, throwing a jab and a sidekick. Very basic, but that worked well. Uh, because uh, I've realized I, I've, I spend a lot of energy moving a lot. So I'll try to be, not to move so much, save the energy, and maybe sometimes, from time to time, just accelerate a little with some movements. So lately what I've been doing, uh, I couldn't really put it off in the sparring. Uh, I mean, at, at least I don't think so. But I've been working a lot on having a, a set of uh, of counters, mainly parrying and then countering with a specific move. So I've got one for the front kicks and I've got some for the jab and cross. Uh, <laughs> that's the Superman jab, side kick, always works well. Well, always. I found success with it. 
uh, but I was not able to use those counters. Well, first because you see in this particular example, he doesn't use a lot of front kicks, and oh, that was a nice jab. <laughs> I, f I remember that we both felt a bit frustrated that the the fight did not I mean, the sparring session did not go on a little bit more. We were really sort of uh, trying getting used to each other. Been using this long guard a little bit as a jump in hook. That's like the I call it the Tyson hook. There's something I got from uh, Liam Harrison also, which I thought was good. See, when I do this, I'm trying to entice him to, to throw kicks to the midsection, which I leave kind of open so I can catch it, but he didn't take the bait. That's a Sanda side kick. I call it like that. Now that's something I tried also <laughs> to pull off was uh, an axe kick, but to land with the heel on the, on the thigh. <laughs> I've tried a, f a few times, I couldn't really pull it off just yet. That was a hard m middle kick. Okay, that's one of my uh, very basic uh, setup that is a uh, switching stance, but instead of landing. Uh, I tried something here also that I, I saw in the Warrior Collective. It was a well timed side kick in the Warrior Collective that was a um, switch jab, a pivot with a, a hook and then a high kick but the, the hook made him back off and then I was too far away for the high kick so I just spun without being able to throw it. See what I do here with, uh, with these sort of uh, fake hooks, I try to get him to get his guard up so I can land a, a body kick to the to the liver or to the side. See I still use a little bit of lateral movements so from time to time. I feel that my style is kind of coming together. Or right, another story because this guy is good and he's tall. He's got good range, he can use it well. He's got infinite stamina. <laughs> I always really struggle when I when I spar him. Although I did land a couple of nice combinations, but there are, I never know if he kind of lets me do it or if I really was able to do it. It's a very frustrating feeling. It's like every time I do something kind of kind of good, I feel like, yeah, but let me do it. <laughs> but that's also the thing about sparring. You know, you have to let your partner work and have some success. If you could, if you always shut him down and frustrate him all the time, you know, it's really not, look at that. He's just peppering me with his, his jab. See like here, he just shelled up and I was like, is he, is he really feeling threatened or is he just sort of allowing me to do it? That's something I've been working on. I mean, it didn't look very flashy, but that's pushing and then throwing a, a head kick. Okay, I was going for the, the, the Liam Harrison three. <laughs> able to pull it off because I did land two. He cut me with an uppercut when I wanted to learn land the, the third one. The Tyson hook with the sidekick. I mean, I I always find success with this this sidekick it works well i'm feeling like i'm gonna try to build a system around it like maybe all, instead of landing in always to the mid section see like here maybe sometimes boom boom <laughs> that's the only thing that works with this guy if, when i when i start really sort of 
being a bit more aggressive and and moving forward. That was nice. He he had this little jumpy moves. Yeah, I was saying instead of always landing the the sidekick to the body, maybe I could sort of because they, eventually they will know that I do I do this. So you see, like here, same thing. I tried again the sort of axe kick to the thigh. But it's very hard to pull off. That was a good head kick. Ah, my friend Bruce. So the thing here was good because I like the idea that we can, with this guy I can do it more like in a more like in the traditional Muay Thai style that is, you know, sort of standing in front of each other and trading, trading blows. Look at that. That's, that was a, a fake sort of middle kick. So <laughs> I did it myself <laughs> for good measure like faking to the midsection and then landing it to the head. The, the question mark kick, they call it. The side kick. <laughs> Go away, you. I think I did land the sort of this uh, the Liam Harry Liam Harrison uh, combination, which is you throw the hook. It's not a real hook. It's more like like a, like patting the side of of your partner. You know, you you throw like a fake hook just to get him to put his hands up, and then you land a body kick. Here, boom, boom. That's it. That was it. He didn't like it, see. <laughs> I think I did land another nice body kick. Not sure exactly when. He could have dropped me there. Boom. Side kick once again. You can tell here in this sparring session that I had a bit more of this sort of being being a bit tough mentality. Boom, that was a nice one. And being a bit like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna get hit. It's all right, I can take it. I got him a bit frustrated, I think, because he, he 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 moved forward a couple of times, and you see, I I managed to stop him. Yeah, been trying this sort of hook middle middle kick several times. He's good at doing this, the, the Muay Thai hop. Here he almost got me in the face. So I went for a head kick myself. Ah okay, this is Sammy, so as already told these guys are really good. Already from the start you can see he did this thing. And uh the thing is like he really I'd say that adjusts his uh, his level to my level and it's like every time I get better he gives me some more some new challenges and uh, every time I'm like hey, okay next time I can do this or I'll do that I, I always feel like I'm, I can maybe get an edge on him at some point or on some level no 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 it doesn't happen because there are too many levels to this game and for example, as soon as we start clinching, he's got such an advantage. He's really good at it, and me, I really suck. And there's actually not many people in the club that are good at clinching. He's pretty much the only one guy where that when I'm in the clinch with him, I feel like I'm going to get thrown. It's going to end up bad for me. But with everybody else, I kind of muscle my way in and out of it. <laughs> I'm happy because you see, he, 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 he caught me with like a combination of punches, but I did land a kick. <laughs> but then he replied with a kick himself. But at least I didn't just sort of uh, 
I didn't uh, how to say that accept and uh, and do nothing about it. Look, this is funny. <laughs> we started clinching. It was off camera, but <laughs> he did something that made me run all the way back to the other side uh, of the zone. I think I need to include a bit more of my uh, spinning stuff, spinning shit, as uh, the Diaz brother said. He was nice, he, he didn't put me down. He could have. Boom. <laughs> that hit me. That forces me to be a bit more creative when I when I spar with him, to try things. That was really exhausting. Okay, this was a guy I had never sparred before, so I, I told him, I said, okay, I don't know you, we go easy. And, and that's what happened. He was really cool. I had a good time sparring with him. And you will see how the, the sort of the rhythm, the pace of that sidekick again, the pace of the sparring sort of uh, increases gradually. So I, I was already going easy, I wasn't landing hard shots and it, neither was he. Until at some point, I don't know, he started accelerating a little bit and landing good combinations. It's a shame, I don't think we can see it on the video, but I managed to use my elbow for the first time, like in a real sort of effective way. I didn't land an elbow per se, but I kind of blocked uh, a punch with it. And it came naturally. And uh, it was very interesting because it opened up a whole sort of world to me, which was uh, usually at very short distance in kickboxing, you can't use your elbow, so you have to do with short, short hooks or maybe you have to uh, back off and create distance so that you can land your shots. But in Muay Thai, because you get the elbow, see here, the pace sort of starts increasing. I like doing this thing that is springing, you know, going back and then springing forward. And uh, when I use the elbow in that way, I was like, ah, see how he goes for it now. I was like, ah, yeah, um, you can use the elbows, I don't know, not just offensively, but kind of defensively also. You can, you know, someone, you can use them to kind of uh, lower the guard and do things like that. It's not strictly defensive, but I don't know. It just, it, it was like, this, you know, the light bulb over my head it was like, oh. <laughs> There's more to it. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. All right, I, I hope you enjoyed that uh, sparring session. And that was it. He, I don't know, for some reason, his calf hurt. See you next time. And don't forget that you can get 10% off the Yokao shop with the promo code ZENBOXER. See you, bye.